Oh anyway, first things first. PPE. Long pants, long shirt. Dust mask. Oil protection. And a hat to cover the ball head. What we're going to use is this bottle of coconut coil. So for the purposes of the volume that I have, we're going to halve it. All purpose compost and a whole bag of perlite. So we're going to have to soak this block first. So we have to cover them. The recommendations are 15 litres. Got no one here. Fill some more extra six flavors. Using collected rainwater. No added salts to go in it. I'll let that soak for half an hour and check on it again. Just come back to the coir block. I'll just check and see how far along it's soaked in. Pull it apart. Let's see if we need to add some more water to the mix. So it would seem that the interior of the block is still a bit dry, so we'll just add some additional water. If it's too much, we can squeeze the excess out a bit later on. Okay, so the water's been added. It's all come up nice and nice and good. Now we'll put it up for soaking. So now we'll add the rest. Two five litres compost. Okay, so we've got the finished product.
kind of all mixed in. It's nice, light and fluffy. We can take a sample for our tests. Here we've got our controlled release fertilizer, especially for fruit trees. I'm going to add that to the mix as well. Bring it on and we'll shuffle it in. So here we're going to test the media for EC and the pH. So we'll just prepare some here. We'll grab a couple of handfuls, whack it in our deionized water. Handfuls. The mix in. And I'll give it the old firm handshake squeeze. Make sure any excess water's off. jars marked out 100 mils there filled up to reasonably about 120 mark as per the textbook it's about 100 there So roughly 120, we've got 150 mils of distilled water added to the mix. Then, put the lid on, shake it 10 times. We'll come back in 15 minutes and do it again and repeat that process another 10 times and then we can do our readings. Okay, moment of truth. Do the EC reading first. So if we call that... Uh, bit of a shake. A bit of a shake. We peaked at 4.15, so we'll call that 4.15. See how big a rinse. 4.15 by 2 divided by 1,000. We'll work that out in a minute. And pH. We'll let that settle down. So we'll call that about 6.1. Alrighty, those tests done. Righty oh, so here we have our apparatus that we've made for our AFP test. It's four drill holes, and there's a media to go with it. We put the media inside the apparatus. <laughs> so we put a bit in, and we'll give it a couple of drops to settle it in. And then we can fill it up some more. So here we have the media and the apparatus in our bucket. The bucket's not the cleanest, but it'll do. We'll add the water up to the little here. So now the water is pretty much at the cusp of the apparatus there. I'm going to let that sit for half an hour. And it's rain water, so it's deionized. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in half an hour. So our mix has been soaking for half an hour. We'll pull it out and let it drain for a few minutes. And then we'll put it back in as per the textbook for another 10, repeat the process, drain it, and put it back in for another 10, and then we'll do the next step. So here it is draining, we'll let that go for a couple of minutes. So we've done our soaking, we've taken off the top, scraped off the excess, now we'll put the gauze on and ready for the other soaking for it. So here we have the bottom half with the gauze on, and we'll set that in the water. As it tends to float. So we'll just hold it there and let it soak. 
and we'll come back to it. So here we have the gauze covered apparatus draining. And we'll let that sit for 30 minutes and then we'll measure the amount of water in there. We cover the holes at the bottom, lifted it out of the water, let the water drain off the top and off the hands and we placed it in here and uh, we'll come back in 30 minutes. So we've done the half an hour with the draining and it looks like we have spot on 125 mil. And we'll record that and put it in our paperwork.